and it is Friday. Welcome to Movers and Mints for October 14th, 2022. Your daily source for the top five Solana and Ethereum NFT projects on Magic Eden over the past 24 hours. And we talk about a popular upcoming mint that is going to be happening soon. So, in the top five on both Ethereum and Solana, we see a lot of familiar faces, the typical heavy hitters, and for all you DGens out there, boy, do I have a project for you. It may be slow moving, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So before we dive into everything, as always, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before you invest in any project. Never be willing to put up more money than you can afford to lose. And secondly, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, drop a comment, share it with a friend or two. Any interaction means a lot. I'm really trying to be a YouTube partner by the end of the year, hopefully, fingers crossed. So any interactions greatly appreciate. A lot of work does go into this. So before we jump into all the uh, movers and mints of the day, we always like to take a look at the price of the coins on the blockchains that we're gonna be talking about here. So today, as it stands, Ethereum is up quite a bit from yesterday, $1,301.44. And Solana is right about where it was yesterday at $30.24. So we'll keep that in mind when talking about floor prices of the projects. So we'll start on the Ethereum side of things today starting with the fifth most popular and, uh, NFT project on Ethereum in the past 24 hours, and that's gonna be Other D for Other Side. Um, so where the swap ends, the other side begins. That's in reference to the Board A Biot Club. This is part of that whole universe. So not surprisingly, this is doing very well. A 1.75 Ethereum floor price. So quite a bit of money there. In the past 24 hours, they've done 301 ETH. So doing a lot of movement there. Every deed has different characteristics of the land. You can go ahead, check it out if you are interested. This, along with everything else we talk about, the description, I'm sorry, the link for um, everything that you're going to want to get to with these projects is going to be in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. Any of these interest you. Let's move on to number four in the past 24 hours, and that's Art Blocks. They've been around, hanging out in the top five for, I guess, since I've been doing, covering the Ethereum NFTs. Uh, beta View, full Art Blocks integration coming soon. So this isn't even full go yet, it would appear. And they have done... 315 Ethereum in the past 24 hours, which is pretty darn impressive considering their floor price is 0 0.032. So apparently these things are selling like hotcakes. Pretty wild stuff. Let's move on to number three. And that is going to be Genuine Undead. This is a new project we haven't talked about at least in the top five in the Ethereum side of things. So it's a 24 by 24 pixel PFP you have never seen, right? You're right, I've never seen it. Uh, 5,995 classic, 3,996 cyberpunk, and only eight legendaries, over 200 hand-drawn traits with a rich variety. So the floor on these guys is 0.6 ETH right now. Considering, again, that low floor price like Artblox, They've done 347 Ethereum in the past 24 hours. That's a 60% increase day over day. So it looks like these things are catching fire right now. I will say this would make kind of a pretty cool PFP. I tend to agree with their assessment of it. Um, but let's move on to number two, a familiar face, a very familiar face, Crypto Punks. So with these guys, that floor price is basically infinity because Listen, these guys are the original, one of the OG NFT projects on the Ethereum blockchain. Very highly sought after, basically impossible to get. So one sale, it would appear, happened 490.49 ETH in the past 24 hours. So a lot of money for these guys. Um, in my opinion, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I think there is a place for derivatives on the Solana blockchain. So if you're interested, in being a part of history, but you can't grab a crypto punk, I might suggest Soul Punks. Uh, that's S O L P U N K S. They were the first Solana NFT project to mint to completion on that chain. They're very affordable right now. They have an incredible team behind them. And 
Um, they are you know, obviously very similar to the crypto punks. I think there is a space for derivative projects on the Solana blockchain. So go ahead and take that and uh, run with it if you're interested. But crypto punks and OG not going anywhere, obviously. They are one of the cornerstones of the Ethereum blockchain. Let's move on to number one. No surprise here, it's the Bored Ape Yacht Club. These are the cream of the crop, not only Ethereum, but the entire NFT ecosystem. So they've done 587.48 Ethereum in the past 24 hours. Floor price is 73. So you gotta consider what a 130, I'm sorry, 1,301 dollars is the price of one Ethereum. Multiply that by 73 quite a bit of money and that's for the cheapest one out there so um it's a yacht club a collection of 10,000 unique board ape nfts unique digital collectibles living in the ethereum blockchain your board ape doubles as your yacht club membership card and grants access to members only benefits that's where the real value of owning one of these comes so if you don't know much about nfts i'm sure you've heard about this one so Board Ape Yacht Club, top of the charts on the Ethereum side of things in the past 24 hours, coming in at number one. So let's shift gears and head over to the Solana side of things. And let's start with number five over there. Number five in the past 24 hours is going to be the OK Bears. Um, this project took the Solana ecosystem by storm when they came out. Um, they have a floor price of 47, so it is down for them. Generally speaking, they have been up across, north of that 100 mark uh, before, but these guys are a staple. They, they, a lot of people, you know, are relevant people in the ecosystem have them. Um, they have a lot of really cool member benefits as well. Um, 2.1 million all time in volume. That is absolutely astronomical. If they're not the top one in terms of total volume all time, they are definitely up there. In the past 24 hours, they've done 1.9 thousand in Solana. Let's move on to number four. Not going to lot of spend a time. Excuse me. Not going to spend a lot of time on this one. It's Elixir Nectars. The reason I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it is because this project, um, it's fuel for the city of Elixir. So this is contingent upon another project. So you really wouldn't just buy this. The price of this doesn't make sense if you're not involved in the other one. But it's a 50 floor price. They've done 2.7 thousand in the past 24 hours. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to move on because if you don't have the original, this doesn't make sense to own. Let's move on to number three. Number three on the day. Um, this one is Lunar NFT. I'm going to skip this one as well. Yesterday it was flagged and uh, I don't know. The flag's still there. I don't know why it's still in the top five. I'm just going to move on. All right. So moving on to number two. Number one, they are basically one in the same. And number two is Utes Mint 2. So just like the board apes have the mutated apes, D gods have the Utes. So the Utes are gonna come from the Mint 2 that are here. So the floor price on this is hovering around that 100 mark right now. When they came out, they were up around that 140, 150. They were there for a bit, but I think excitement is starting to die off. Everyone, if you don't have one, you know, you don't want one by now if you have the money. If you want them, you have them. And everyone's just waiting waiting for them to be revealed. So not a lot of move. I mean, obviously there is a lot of movement there in the top five, a 66.3 thousand uh, Solana in the past 24 hours. But we're kind of in a holding pattern here, just waiting for these guys to be revealed to see, you know, what I expect once the Utes to be revealed, it's going to be a free for all because there's going to be different tiers and traits and you know, characteristics. So the price on this, I, th I think, is just going to absolutely explode. I'm really excited to see when that happens, but obviously it hasn't happened quite yet. Let's move on to number one. I kind of gave it away, but it's the D gods. The D gods, again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on these. They've eclipsed the 1 million mark all time in Solana. <clears throat> Digital art collection. Global community of creators, developers, entrepreneurs, athletes, artists, experimenters, and innovators. The floor on this is 289 Solana, with Solana being around 30 bucks right now. 
definitely a lot of money for one of these bad boys. But um, Frank D. God is creating the premier project, has created the premier project on the Solana blockchain and continues to edit it on a daily basis. And if you know about the D. Gods and you're into NFTs, I don't know what to tell you. You're sleeping under a rock. And that's going to do it for the top movers on both Ethereum and Solana in the past 24 hours. Now let's shift gears and let's look ahead to a popular upcoming mint. So if you're new to the show, I always like to tell you how I get there. <clears throat> so I go to the Magic Eden um, homepage, I go to the drop calendar, and then I filter by the number of upvotes. I go to the show all, both Solana and Ethereum, I don't judge, and I click that upvote and then I go from there. So uh, coming in, it's not showing up right now, not sure why, but the uh, swaths had north of 4,000 upvotes, which is pretty wild. So they're called Epic Swaths Inc. Now, I mentioned it in the uh, the beginning. I said for you DGens out there, boy, do I have a project for you. I'm telling you, you might want to spend some time and read about this one because this looks like it is a fun group of people. I'm going to read you the description. It's kind of lengthy, but I think it's fun to listen to. A young project is a gradually developing epic sloths, which has extremely high potential and most importantly has a clearly outlined structure and plans for the future. Our goal is to develop our own community with its unique friendly atmosphere and understanding, to improve methods of communication with the audience, to bring our product to a completely new level and organize more and more sites for its distribution. <coughs> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. And also to provide our dear guests with as much original content as possible, including 18 plus content. Ooh. Uh, the specially generated, unique, and not interchangeable slots on Solana blockchain will count as many as 10,000 NFT already exist in its first collection. There will be three collections planned, each with a unique set of individual traits and characteristics. So, it looks like a lot of fun. I lied. They have 55.99 upvotes. I was just going off by memory there, but that is quite a bit of upvotes. So there's a lot of excitement about this DGen project coming up. So I'm gonna head over to their website right now. It's pretty funny. I'm on their homepage here, and it's just epic sloths in a neon light there. And then you can click the crew, and um, you can see what about uh, you know the description of the people that are working on the project. They're all really funny and worth reading. I would advise you to. Um, when you hit the club, it's going to talk to you about like what it's all about. Lazy Tony's kind of the character, main character in this lore story kind of thing. Uh, but take a look at this. It's really funny. Um, heading over to their Discord. I'm sorry, their Twitter. Before we head over to their Discord, um, they have quite a bit of followers as well. Six thousand one hundred and fifty-nine. Not a ton, obviously, but enough to generate that amount of excitement on the Magic Eden platform. So that's cool to see. They're tweeting a lot, they're doing giveaways, they're getting people excited. And you can see kind of a preview here. Uh, they're looking for like to make merch. I think if you saw somebody walking down the street with an Iron Man sloth, there's gonna be questions. And I love that kind of, I love that idea of bringing IRL utility, AKA like clothes, you know, imagine if you own one, you see someone walking by in one, and you have that moment of, hey, what's up? I like that. I love that idea. So, cheers to them. That's pretty cool. I hope they deliver on this stuff, because it's a lot of wild ideas that they have here. <clears throat> so, lastly, we're going to look at their Discord real quick here. Let it load up. I right. Here we go. So, we are in the Discord. Now, <clears throat> there is a 10,000 supply. The mint price is going to be between 1 to 1.35 soul, assuming that's probably for whitelist OGs and versus, you know, you normies out there that are going to go to the public sale. Mint date's October 20th, so coming in hot, and there are 6,219 people in their Discord. I'm in their announcements, and I wanted to show you that because, I'm sorry, I'm in their um, sneak peeks. I think the art's pretty silly. There's nothing fancy to it, but there is something about it that just makes you giggle because there's sloths. And who doesn't love a good sloth, you know? The whole thing's about being lazy, slow, all that kind of stuff, the idea of the project. Uh, but I wanted to scroll down here and show you, they're making merch. Like I showed you the shirt, but you got, I don't even know what the heck this is. It's on wood, it could be a table, cutting board, I have no idea. Look, they have concept art for a fidget spinner, pins, a patch. A bag, pop or something, I don't know what that is, a water bottle, 
I have no idea what this is. Some kind of sign. So, I just love their whole vibe. They seem silly, goofy, looking to have a good time. And uh, in my opinion, it looks like a total D-Gen play. So once this comes out in a week or two, I'm excited to see how this performs. So, Epic Sloths Inc., you are the mint of the day. I wish you the best of luck in your launch, and we'll see you in about a week. So that's gonna wrap it up for Movers and Mints Daily. So remember, my name's Goldie. I bring you the top Ethereum and Solana NFTs on Magic Eden over the past 24 hours, and I introduce you to a popular upcoming mint. So definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You know, like this video, drop a comment, let me know what you think. I'm always adding Solana NFT content as well. So if you have something you'd like to see or any improvements to the show, let me know. I will definitely take that feedback. So until Monday, it's Friday, have a great weekend. And I'm just going to continue to ask, what moon? When Lambo? We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.